Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video update. It's been another busy week, um, although obviously everyone is still staying at home, there's lots of things going on. We've celebrated Old Socks Day for anti-bullying, uh, we've had cook-alongs going on in technology um, and lots of other activities which hopefully um, parents and carers you've had an opportunity to see via Satchel One and, and potentially being present for some of the team's lessons. Uh, we know that it continues to be challenging in lockdown, but we really appreciate um, all the positive messages that are coming in from students, parents and carers alike. Um, and just to reiterate what we've previously said, if there's anything you need, do let us know. We will do everything we can to try and support yourselves um, and students to get through this difficult time. So, a few things that are going on at the moment. Um, we have got the Year 11 Leavers packages going out, so if you've got a child in Year 11 or if you are a Year 11, please do look out for those. We are still going ahead with yearbooks, hoodies. We have got a prom date booked and we'll see from restrictions how we move forward with that one at a later date. We have unfortunately had to postpone the initial Duke of Edinburgh expeditions that were going out um, in February and information's gone on our social media for that. Again, as soon as we get information on restrictions, we will try and get those booked back in because we know it's a really valuable experience for students um, and we really want to still be able to push ahead with those. I know Mr Bradbury is keen to still get the expeditions to run this year. We also have coming up on the 11th of February our first uh, full virtual parents evening. So we're going to run this for Year 8 students, for the Year 8 parents evening, via a platform called School Cloud. Um, it's something that we have used other areas of in school before and been impressed with. So we're hoping this will give you the opportunity um, to have short appointments with individual subject teachers, as you would if you were able to come onto the site, but doing that from home. So if you're a Year 8 parent, please look out the letters went in the post for those to make sure everyone was able to get them um, and the booking opens at four o'clock on Monday for those appointments. If you need any support with that there is the January section of our school website when so when you go to our home page there is a tab that says um, back to school January if you click on that, there's a whole section for the parents' evening, so information of how to book, a copy of the letter, but you'll also find lots of other tabs. So there's information about hardship support in Warwickshire, there's information about accessing remote learning, lots and lots of useful things going up onto the school website. So please do have a look if you've got any queries or are looking for any extra support. That's a really great place to go um, as a first step. We are continually looking at where we can support with electronic devices because we know that is a big pressure on remote learning and families. Um, thank you for those people that filled in the parent survey and we've been able to identify that there is still a need there. If your child doesn't have um, an appropriate device to do their home learning on, please do let your head, their head of year know. Um, we are looking at all avenues to try and support with that and we are getting increasing supplies of devices in. Although they're small numbers, we're getting everything we've got out to families as quickly as possible. Um, and one of our IT technicians has very kindly offered, if anybody in the community has a device they no longer use, they will clear that um, prepare it, make any um, changes that are needed to be able to then be gifted onto a family. So um, we are accepting those donations into Salem College reception if you know of anybody with a, an older device that they no longer use. And coming to devices, you're watching this on a screen, um, we talked last week, we know that screen time is a, a potential concern during lockdown. All of our socialising is on video calls, it's on Zoom, you know, when we're not working, we are having to socialise via a screen as well. So we are trying to look at those strategies to reduce that screen time. And I'd really ask you to encourage as parents and carers and students yourselves to use those 20 minute gaps between lessons to actually step away from a screen, to go and get a drink or do something different, step outside, get some fresh air um, and just make sure you're, you're moving away from that screen when possible. Um, we're going to be putting out some digital detox tips over the next couple of weeks so look out for those on social media and Satchel One. And Again, for students and parents and carers, please do check Satchel One. The live lessons are running really well on Teams um, as an overview from what we have seen, but there's so much wider information that goes on the Satchel One platform. So um, tutor activities, support, surveys, extracurricular activities, uh, resources to support lessons. So if there isn't a live lesson, the work will be on Satchel One and also check that daily for all the other enrichment tasks that can go in and you can choose to have a go at if you wish.
I'm just going to hand over to Mr. Richter now for a couple of announcements. I know it's a lot of information coming out, but hopefully you're able to watch this again um, if there's anything you've missed the first time. Mr. Richter. Thank you, Ms. Mason, and hello, everybody. Um, uh, I'd like to say a big thank you to all our students and for your support parents uh, for helping us with our pastoral theme of stand, um, stand up, don't stand by. And we've had this week a focus on anti-racism, anti-bullying, and loads of great contributions you'll have seen on our social media. So please always have a look at our Facebook page and Twitter page where we share what students send us in. So a big thank you for that. Um, a reminder for those who haven't done it for the students to fill in our anti-bullying survey we had already over 500 responses so that's open till monday and we're also sending out a second student survey about remote learning to help us improve and develop what we offer to to help everybody learn at home um, and then our theme of standing up for yourself taking action against injustice continues next week and we'll have a look we'll launch the lgbtt plus history month and we're also looking at Children's Mental Health Awareness Week. And the theme for next week will be Express Yourself through uh, music, fashion, dance. There'll be an uh, invitation for students and staff uh, every day to share um, how they express their identity. And that week and the fortnight will culminate on Friday afternoon where we're having an off timetable afternoon. So period four will be a session with tutors where we look at how as a society we stand up for each other and protect rights and freedoms um, through the House of Parliament and that is followed period five on the Friday with a private session for every year group run live by the Houses of Parliament, by members of the House of Parliament and staff. So there'll be more information coming out in Satchel but next Friday afternoon is the kind of the highlight of our fortnight of, of taking action against injustice and we're having a live private session for every year group including sixth form with the Houses of Parliament. Um, so thank you everybody in advance for this and now back to Ms Mason. We know that everybody is anxious um, to move out of lockdown as quickly as possible and this week we got the announcement um, that the government are looking if plans go as they expect um, to have a return to school on the 8th of March. We just want to reassure you that we are working towards that date, getting plans in place and as we get closer and get the confirmation we will get more details out to you as students, parents and carers about how that will work. Um, in the meantime if you haven't done your consent for your child's lateral flow device testing then please do go back and do that if you'd like them to be involved in that program because that's a good thing that we can get out of the way um, ready for when students return and as I say we will update you as we can really hope that everyone is safe and well do please get in touch if there's anything we can do it may feel that we're all working separately but we are still a team so any help you need please let us know take care thank you You've got a friend in me. You've got a friend in me. When the road looks rough ahead and your miles and miles from your nice warm bed, you just remember what your old pal said. You've got a friend in me. Yeah, you've got a friend in me. You've got a friend in me. You've got a friend in me. You've got troubles and I've got them too. There isn't anything I would do for you. We sing together and we see it through. Cause you've got a friend in me. Yeah, you've got a friend in me.